You were like, am I even going to make the, the squad as a walk-on, and, and now you're the, the full-time kicker? Um, I would say the main difference last year because, I mean, yesterday was exactly a year since I came onto the team. Um, wasn't here last summer, but really the only difference, there will always be some nerves there, I was saying before, and uh, you just kind of have to push those out of the way. We've been on the biggest stage, so now the only thing I have to really deal with is expectations. <laughs> what was this off season like? First of all, as the as a team coming off of the national championship mm -hmm. loss and, and preparing to, to make a return trip. Um, I would say the focus. <laughs> I would say the focus. Um, like I said before, I wasn't I wasn't here for the off season last year, but just come just from how the guys were talking about it, um, they see more focus and like we've been to the biggest stage that college football has to offer. And uh, we know what it's like to be there. Now we just need to know what it's like to win it. So, How have you improved since April, and what have you worked on the most? I will say working on the most would be long field goals and then extra points. It's weird because they kind of contradict each other. But uh, those would be the def definitely the biggest things that I've worked on this offseason, just so I could go out there and get it, get it done for the team. What's the longest field goal you've hit so far? So far? Uh, in practice, actually last week I hit a 63. So we're getting there. Nice. And then kickoffs, obviously, that was yeah, a point of absolutely. contention last year. Absolutely. Um, I've gone to a, one of my kicking coaches, actually, Dan Orner, and uh, I went to him a couple times just to get the kickoffs down pat. I, I think Bradley Pinion worked with, with Orner. Yes, sir. Um, or, yes, ma'am. No, you're yes, good. Um, have you talked to Bradley at all about his secret to, to getting it basically through the back of the end zone every time? Or uh, To be honest, I've talked with Bradley a little bit, but the person I've really been talking to the most is uh, Kat and Zaro. He's been in a couple of the camps that I went to, and uh, he actually texted me a couple of times, and uh, just like see how I'm doing and stuff like that. So like that, that makes me feel pretty good just because he takes the time out of his day to send me a text. But I asked him the main difference since whenever he kicked here, he just did field goals. Cause Bradley was the kickoff guy, and uh, he was saying that the biggest thing that made the a uh, large difference for him was yoga. It sounds weird, but I was going to ask you yeah, if you're a yeah. yoga person yet. I actually, I, I took a yoga class this summer, so uh, that was one of my courses. But he was saying that that made a big difference for him in terms of kickoffs. So, do you feel like that. it's made a difference in you? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, who's somebody in the group of special teams? Some young guy who's really starting to stand out. Um, in terms of standing out, both Michael Batson and Will Spires. Um, like the coaches were saying, they were looking for like the second punter. So they're looking for a second string guy there. And uh, both Will Spires and Michael Batson came out there today behind Andy and they did, they did a heck of a job. They both hit some pretty good punts today. I'm sure you've been asked this already, but I mean, this is a different, it's a different summer for you, I guess. Last year, people didn't really know much about you or what you could do. Now, people are expecting amazing things again what you what you did last year how do you take that how do you approach this year and how do you kind of just perform the way you want to perform i will say that last year i was a lot more nervous going mm -hmm. into the season just yeah. because i didn't know what to expect um the away games didn't know what to expect for those either and uh the biggest change i'd have to say is going from a lot of nerves to this year they're always going to be a little bit nervous yeah. but uh the expectation, living up to the expectation. And over the summer, I took a yoga class, and I'd like to think that about 80% of kicking is mental. Because if you don't have the uh, mental capabilities there, and you can't really handle the pressure, um, then I'm sorry, you're not gonna be a good kicker. But really just being able to handle uh, pressure situations. And I know that if I was able to perform in those circumstances last year, I'm just hoping that I could do it to the same extent. Did the yoga class kind of help with the mental discipline of things? Yes, sir. Just because with that, I'm going to be honest, I, I haven't taken yoga until yeah. the summer. And, like, I put my body in positions that I have never been put in before. So it was, it was pretty uncomfortable. And uh, it's harder than people think. Mm -hmm. But uh, whenever, you're, whenever you're in those positions, you have to hold them, and you're actually out of breath. The, uh, the instructor really says to focus on your breathing. And if you focus on your breathing, and you learn to calm yourself whenever you're not in comfortable situations, it kind of relates to football as well. So it's just being able to control your breathing and just accept the situation that you're in. Can you see a, a difference or an improved performance already 
early in camp during the summer when you were out working out and things like that because oh, yes. of the yoga? I'd say yes, just because my flexibility has gone up yeah. tremendously, and uh, that's a big part of kicking, so I'd say yeah. Do you feel like you've improved your range? Do you feel like you can hit from deeper than you than you had? I'd or say consist more consistently. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just because last summer my my main focus was okay. They need a kicker right. with the whole situation that was going on, and uh, my main focus was all right. Be the most consistent kicker that you can be. And I saw one of Coach Sweeney's interviews last year, and he said, "We're looking for a guy that's consistent inside of 40." So I was like, "Okay, if I can be consistent inside of 40, pretty consistent. Other than that, then uh, I should be fine." But um, this year, my one of my main focuses was working on long field goals, and uh, I've definitely seen an addition to some yardages. You want to be that guy where if Clemson's down by two and it just happens to be like a 51-yarder, you want to be the guy who can hit those. Yes, sir. Imagine. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And you feel like you've come closer to that? Yes, sir. You're closer to that now? You, that that you, you would have confidence you'd be able definitely, to Definitely. Definitely. The main thing last year was just getting the nerves out of the way. This year was the uh, expectations, but my main concern is just ball contact. If you have ball contact, then that distance will come. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thanks, What's it like going from just trying to make the team to seeing your name pop up on national watch lists? It's weird. It's weird. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, whenever I first saw the that I was predicted to be like one of the watch lists for the Lou Gros or whatever, I was like, I, I still can't even imagine. Like, there are so many really good kickers out there, and to be considered in other people's eyes one of the best in the nation, that that's that's really it's really nice. Yes, yes, ma'am.